We yep. are so excited for this new bolt. Yeah, yeah, we are too. This this is a, a crazy uh, amount of experience with our with the success we've had in our in our Travado and in our Era and in our new Revel, all kind of brought to one to, to, to take advantage of this new chassis and bring out a brand new product on the exciting brand new Mercedes Sprinter chassis. I talked to Chris a little bit about this, and he said he took like all the lessons he's learned from working yeah. on all these other rigs. They've been planned into this thing from the get-go. Right, yeah, and we've done our, done our best that way. So this thing uh, has two floor plans that we're launching it with, uh, uh, a KL and a new one that we're calling the BL. This is the KL here. Uh, it's got some neat features in it, and we'll talk about those when we get around to the back. But uh, as far as the Mercedes side goes, you know, pretty much what we talked about on the, on the new view. Uh, everything in probably just maybe one or two more boxes, but every box that you can imagine is checked on this one from Mercedes. So it has all of the safety features, okay. all of the entertainment features. Uh, you know, it has a Wi-Fi hotspot in there. It has a, the phone charger. Wireless. Phone wireless charger. phone charger. You set your phone up there. It also has, which is not available on the, on the, on the cutaway chassis from Mercedes, but on the, on the van, it has blind spot monitoring, which is nice. like the number one thing that came up uh, with, our, with uh, some of our workshops with our owners that they would like to have in their RV. That way, you know, when you're, when you're driving, you've got the additional little light blinking on the mirror mm -hmm. that says, hey, there's somebody in your blind spot. You know, be careful if you're right. trying to change lanes or, or, or something like that. And this is still a six-cylinder dual rear wheel? Yeah, six-cylinder dual rear wheel. It's got the new six-speed transmission, which is a lot smoother. Um, it's, it's available in four-wheel drive as well, yes? It's also going to be available in four-wheel yeah. drive, and I think people are going to like the fact that this has got a lot of ground clearance. It's huge. And and I it, crawled under it. This is easily the most room under a Class B that I have ever experienced. Even without four-wheel drive, right. it has a lot of clearance. Already, and now you put four-wheel drive, you're going to get you some got more. even more. So okay. this is kind of going to give people the want a more luxurious revel, right? They want to uh, be going to those uh, national parks and getting off the grid. This will be a great motor home for those people as well. Well, and let's walk around, let's around. and, yeah, and let's yeah, start got. All right, checking let's check it, it out. out. So the running board, that's something that caught my eye right away. Yeah, so this is our new running board. It's wider. It's got the Winnebago it's lit. logos. It's lit underneath. Okay. It's got the places to lash, uh, leash, le tie leashes to. Oh. Uh, it's got the new, if we had the key fob, I could show you that. But this is pretty cool. Check out this, which is going to be really nice. <laughs> Right? That is sweet. If you've ever tried living in a van for a while, you know that constant slamming, slamming of, of the, the van door yes. is a huge deal. That is sweet. So yep. you'll be able to push a button and this will shut quietly? Yeah, you can shut it just like this. Or you can, I can just touch it and it'll go. There's also a button in here. From the inside you can push or you can use your key file. I'm just going to push the button here. All right, let's see. Cause... <laughs> that is awesome. That'll... Oh, robot door for us, Fantastic. Right? So, I want this. <laughs> some pretty, pretty high, tech, high technology in here. Yeah, awesome. Like almost a foot under there, it felt like. Yeah, there's a lot of room. So you started talking about the Pure 3. Yeah, so this is a Pure 3 standard. So it's going to be standard. Uh, one of the option. differences between this and the Travato Pure 3s is it's going to have a bigger battery. Okay, so, so the Bolt's having a bigger battery. 33% than... larger than, than the Travato Pure 3. 33%, right. so wow. Because, because Well, one of the things about this is this is built on a Mercedes diesel. Yes. And so diesels really with the particulate filter and so on, they really don't like being idled that much because uh -huh. you can clog your particulate filter. Mercedes right. asks us not to put, you know, the kind of the auto start feature on this. So we want to put a bigger battery in there so people have to less overcome. of a need there you go. To, to, to start it. So well, you'll that's have fantastic. Yeah, 33% more. Uh, battery power. So you can go remote longer yeah. that way? Yep. Awesome. Without having to worry about right. starting up. Right. Running your air conditioner, yeah. running everything, no problem. And the other thing that I, that I can't show you because it's built into the van, but it's the, you'll notice that when you go inside with the quiet is the insulation. So this is the most insulated van that, that we've done so far. We've oh, taken wow. what we've learned in the Revel and we've even, you know, gone a little bit further with the interior construction. So now we have a double layer insulation system. Nice. So we're using the, the automotive grade uh, sound deadening and thermal insulation that won't, won't mold or mildew or won't trap moisture. And it's, uh, a, it's a solid foam piece, right? It's like EPS foam. Yeah, solid it, foam, so it, it won't, won't compress compact. over time. Over time and kind Excellent. of fall away from that. And that's pressed into there. And then over that, on the inner panels, we have just a solid sheet of that. So that presses up against, so even on like the metal ribs and things in the van, okay. those are also insulated from the inside of the van. So you so, won't have those cold spots. So that is making this a four season coach? Ab yeah, absolutely, four season capable. Wow. So that's awesome. Uh, you know, with the, with the insulation that we have in here, uh, and the Trumacombi, you know, heat system, 
um, yeah, you'll be able to use this in all kinds of uh, temperature conditions. That is so exciting. So right. we're here by the name Bolt. So yep. where'd you come up with that name? Let's hear that story. Oh, well, I love the name because uh, Bolt's got a, a couple of cool meanings. Obviously, you know, it sounds like Bolt, which is electrical Bolt with being having that great big lithium package. Yeah. So you got the electrical side of it. And then this little logo here, you know, showing the, the compass. Uh, and also that looks like the switch for the, the Pure, the Volta, three. Pure 3 oh, system. Oh, right on. So that all fits together. But Bolt is, is, is part of the name Humboldt. And I don't know if you've ever, have you ever seen a, a town or heard of the, an in animal the named County. after Humboldt. Yeah, there, Absolutely. There was an explorer back in the 1800s. I just I was reading a book about it a while ago. And uh, amazing, Alexander von Humboldt. If you're looking for something to read about a magnificent scientist and explorer, yes. uh, you know, he, he really uh, traveled all over the world. And uh, I think people that buy the Bolt are going to want to travel and explore. And uh, that's a, a cool wonderful name. namesake for him. You know, I think I think he has the most animals named after him over any other scientist. <laughs> yeah. I have to look, look it up, <laughs> guys. Look it up, look I it think up. that's a little You've fun fact. You've been reading fact. too, apparently. Uh, trivia <laughs> nights. Trivia yeah, nights. Trivia yes. night. Yeah, there's going to be right. some questions later. So <laughs> let's check out the back. Okay. All right. It's a little bit like the Travato 59K. It's very much like the Travato K. It's well, been reversed. Flipped. flipped on the bathroom. It's been flipped a little bit. You know, you have some differences in the chassis. So um, we've um, accommodated those. We were able to flip the bathroom. So uh, you can see now that we have in this model, we have a fixed sink instead of a drop down sink. Uh, so it's a nice bathroom, full shower. Um, you're going to see you got all your connections from the, that you can use from the mm -hmm. outside here. But this is, that is storage? this is something that oh yeah that we learned is people want more more storage in the back to put all of their Fantastic. electrical cords and and sewer and that's really deep and tools etc. Mel would approve and Mel yeah I think you could put Mel right in there. Could be a litter box mod litter sure. box down there cut sure. a hole here. Sure. And on both sides you know we've got we've got the the roll of screens with a magnet catch. Nice. So these are really nice and one of the things that we learned just in testing this which really wasn't intended is that when you it's a full blackout screen as well. When you when you close this off, you put an air gap between you and the back doors, mm -hmm. which ah, helps with keeping insulation. keep the coach warm inside. So the the bathroom is a lot warmer in this coach. Speaking of warm, I'm noticing this floor. That's like an inch and a half thick. It's a little bit thicker than what we've seen in the past. This has got uh, an insulated layer of EPS foam underneath okay. the plywood, and so then plywood. so it gives you more of a thermal break and some insulation from the floor. So it's, so it's be, protecting you from that cold body. It of should the be van. a much feel better in the in the that's cold. That's fantastic because mm -hmm. that's where uh, in vans it tends yeah, to be, uh, lose a lot of heat. Even in our own way. van, that's the one thing I couldn't address. Right, you know, it's the it's floors. The floor. right, yeah, yeah that. great. Put some carpet down or something. Let's take a look inside. All right, let's go. I noticed this table right away coming yeah, in. Yeah, so, so this is you know this is a nice table. It will fold up. Uh, you got several connections, but you look here. This is a new exist handle, right? Uh, and this is made by Ramtrack. So uh, the table is designed so you can put it up and down. You loosen the knob here, you can put it up. You can work. Um, you can even swing it out here. Swing it outside the coach. I could work out. I could lower it a little. Right. Lower, lower it. Out here. Lower it down. Raise it up to about this level. I can work on it. You can also move it to the back and use it as a table inside the coach. So it's super. Yep. Does it swing out of the way? Does it pivot or something? Yeah, it actually, you actually release the pivot here. And then you can. Uh, it away okay, like that. so that, that could, you could swing it against the yeah, door. Yeah, so when you're driving, this sits up behind your driver's seat. Doesn't take up a lot of room. Okay. Or you can detach it completely and move it to the other spot exactly. inside the coach. Exactly. All right. So well, the the galley is pretty similar. To, uh, people that are familiar with our 59K will recognize uh, this. Things have been moved around a little bit. Um, got a new sink, a new faucet, nice new Corian countertop. I like how the induction is far over to yeah. the left, so there's more countertop here to for, work. Yeah, that, yeah. It's a big deal uh -huh. having that. Oh, and I, I'm noticing some ram mounts here. Ram mounts are all over in this coach. So this is actually built into the window treatment. So you can see that um, you've got the ram mount, a little basket that you can adjust. We, we put these two baskets in here. People can use them and put them where oh, they right. want in Fantastic. the coach. Fantastic. But here's, you know, any number, the, the sky's the limit of what you could put in there. You could make your own connectors. You could use RAM mounts, make your own RAM mounts. Um, you can see we got a little RAM mount iPad holder yes, back there. Yes, yeah, so lots of options yeah, in here. But people love to modify these things, and this will make it easy to add, you know, your own little touch to your coaches as well without having to worry about where you're drilling into the coach and so on. Lots and lots of storage in both of these coaches. We worked hard I'm on that. I'm noticing that. I love mm -hmm. that there's so many storage options in here. And the cabinetry looks a lot like in the Travato, but it's Same nothing colors. like the yep. Travato, is it? It it's just a new looks design. like it. It's a new design. Um, it's a lot more, uh, it's, it's, it's pretty robust. And, um, you know, we'll, we'll be seeing this transition in other products as well. 
All right, going right forward. on. And is there solar standard on this? Yeah, yeah, it comes standard with the, with the 200 watts of solar. 200 watts, yep. wow. And uh, you got the big lithium battery, um, lots of storage. Everywhere you look, uh, you know, there's storage. Even here under the bed, there's some storage compartments that you can, you'll see later. Oh, yes. Um, oh, and these beds do somehow come together, The beds come, come together, together right? no more, kind of, no more puzzle bed. You just pull it across. I'll get out of the way so you, you can, can do that. You can grab that and help me out here. Yeah. Pull it across. You can oh, see. sure. You got the slap bed, and then you can pull the bed across. And, and then you've got the extra yeah, cushions. You can pop in the cushions, yep. Aw, all right. Isn't that cool? That is, I love how easily that the okay. bed slides in all and right. out. Okay, we'll put this back together. <laughs> okay. But there's another floor plan, so we should go look yeah, at the other one, the other, too. Yeah, let's check out the other, the 70B. All right, Russ, we are here in the new 70B yes. floor plan. And this is the one that, that we are just personally over the top excited about. So right away, I'm noticing that this dinette seat, this is a dinette, right? Right, yep. But it's way more, in, in the, our Travato, our seat is bolt yeah, upright. Yeah, yep, it's a new design to make it, you know, more ergonomic and more comfortable. And it's you know really great seating position. You also There's a lap have, belt. Well, it's not a lap. It's three point seat belt, so it's a it's a shoulder harness. Oh. Yep. So you could pull that around and, and over your shoulder shoulder. So it'd be uh, this is you know a lot of people have asked for that, so yeah. we're gonna give a, provide that. Um, but this is a great seat for, for a single person. We also have seat belts in the back, so more people can sit in the back, and you can you can bring six people if you want uh, in this van and have everybody belted in. Um, so if I were going to work, this yeah, is where this, I would work this is from. Where you work, this is yeah. this is it. And there's no there's no pole in the middle here no, or anything for me to bump my legs yeah, into. Yeah, it's a nice simple design uh, that allows you know two people that to, to eat here, or play cards or whatever you're going going to do. Um, and this slides in and out of, easily out of the way. So and you still got the same in. table as in the in the K. Yes. There. Yeah. But then we, now we have two tables. Yeah. And this and this table can also be used back in the back between the two beds. Okay. So and speaking of beds, yeah. I think this actually becomes a bed. Yeah, that makes a nice little child. Let me get this out here <clears> for you. Child's bed. Let's so, do it. Pretty simple. You just pull the cushions off, but uh oh. Look at there. Before we get into there, I want to point out this. Oh. Little secret storage compartment. Brilliant. So everywhere you look in this van, you're going to find a little surprise storage compartment. Uh, you know, uh, one of our mantras back at, at, at Four City is, on the vans anyway, is when in doubt, carve it out, right? Find, your, find, find every storage place that you can get. So you can see even in here, you got a little place where you could put... Uh, Gloves, keys, go, Yep, yep, and, and just trying to do that. But to get back to the bed, very simple, just pop the cushions off, pop it up, another little storage area in here. But um, this bed just pops down. Oh, wow. Pretty heavy duty. You can see there's some nice metal structure in there, and then this just makes the bed. That now, is far easier than most. Yeah. Some assembly required. And you're gonna you're gonna pull these seats closer together when you do it to kind of you know give you more room and 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 hold Keep the cushions in place. Out. Right. But that's it. Pretty simple. That was incredibly easy to do. Yeah. So we've uh, we've actually and there's no extra cushions, right? I mean no, those are all cushions yeah. you would take anyway. There's nothing extra you have to bring in store. Right. Those are all part of the dinette to begin sure. with. Sure. Pretty simple. I love it. All right. So, anything else up front, or should we uh, head to the back? I think that's that's it. I mean, this is our new our new shelf up here that we kind of got this from our Rebel owners. So some of them were doing this mod in, into their coaches. So we thought, heck yeah. Uh, so it's a nice heavy duty metal shelf up here that's got lots and lots of room. Awesome. Well, let's head to the back and see sure. what we got back there. Okay. Right, so back here, we really kind of provided a huge sleeping area. This makes it into one big king bed. Also, you could bring things in from the outside. If you had a paddle board, bicycles, whatever that you wanted to store, carry with you, you could bring it in. It gives you a lot of flexibility because you yep. can either have a huge bed or you can use this as a garage space, really. Right. right. Yeah. So you got a, a little TV there. I know you guys don't watch any TV, but some uh, of... We would use these ram mounts for our yeah. iPads. <laughs> we would definitely be using yeah. Yeah. Yes. And it has a, the new sound <laughs> this system. This is cool. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a Bluetooth a JBL a home theater system. So you you can connect that to your phone. It got really sounds great. Uh, and you could take that off of there, off the ram mount if you wanted, and, and use it outside. outside. Sure. You know, awesome. this really does have a ton of storage. When it comes to camper vans, yeah. this, yeah. I don't know. Do you know it's, what the numbers are and how much I you I don't have? know the numbers, but it's, it's got to be the most. Look at how big this one is. 
Yes. It goes all the way back. It's just one oh, wow. big, huge storage space. Wow. Yeah, no, I'm looking yeah. around at all the cabinetry, and there is so much storage in this yeah. one. You're also storage under the beds. Storage under the beds. Wow. Yep. Very cool. And these are the kind of the easy put-together bed that we showed you in the other floor plan. This just slides across. All and right. then slide the beds yeah, slide the beds across. Yep. Again, no extra cushions to bring. I mean, there are those bolsters which you could use, but right. they're part yep. of the... Yeah, they're part of the whole... And there are seat belts on both sides, so you can pass some people in back here. 